What is that? Another one is Minu. They also studied in the same school, but in different classes. Raj studied in class one, and Minu is in class three. So uh, in their class, they have so many. Uh, they, they have many sections. So what we have to do? The next page, that is page number sixty-seven. The question is. Add the number of students of each section to get the total number of students for a class. So here is a chart. In the chart, first topic is section, and uh, the name of the section is mentioned on that chart. Uh, then after that, classes is mentioned. This one, section, section A, section B, section C, class one, class two, class three, class four, and in section A. Uh, in class one, there are 36 uh, students. Class two, 32. Class three, 33. Class four, 38. Section B have in class one, 32 students. Class two, 37. Class three, 32. Class four, 35. And section C have 38 students in class one, 29 in class two, 38 in class three, and 37 in class four. So what you have to do? You have to add all these uh, classes. Okay, all these sections. And write here the total number of students. Then we have to fill this blanks. Now I will show you how you have to do this. Uh, like section A. How many students in class 1? Class 1 have 36 students. Then section B. 32 students. And section C have 38 students. Now what you have to do here? You have to find out the total number of students in class 1. So for that, you have to add all these numbers, all these sections of class 1. Uh, see, the, uh, first we will add one space, okay? This is 10, this is 1. So we will add this one space. So 8 plus 2. 10 plus 6, 16. So we got 6, carry 1. 3 plus 3, 6. 6 plus 3, 9 plus 1, 10. So in uh, class 1, uh, including this all, uh, including this 3 sections, we have all together how many students in class 1? 106. Now in class 2, class 2, Again in section A, class 2 have 32 students, section B, class 2 have 37 students and section C of class 2 have 29 students. And we have to, uh, we have, uh, what we have to do here? Again we have to add all the numbers to find out total number of students in class 2, okay? So for this, we have to add. So first add the uh, ten, ones plus. In ones plus we have uh, 9 plus 7. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 plus 2, 17, 18. 18, 8, carry 1. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 3, 6. 6 plus 3, 9. So all together in class 2, they have 98 students. Okay? And in class 1 have 106 students. Now, on the uh, next question, in this way, you will find out total number of students in class 3 and class 4. This is your homework. Now, next question. Question number 1. There are dash students in Abdul's class. So, look at this uh, in, uh, question. At the first page, uh, Abdul read in which class? Abdul read in class 2. That means we have to find out the uh, total number of students of class 2. So, how many uh, total number of students in class 2 are? 98. So, in question number 1, what do you have to write? There are dash students in Abdul class. Abdul read in class 2. So, there are how many students in Abdul class? 98. So in the dash, write 98. Okay? Now, question number 2 is your homework. Now I will show you question number 3. There are dash students in Raj class. So Raj read in which class? Raj read in class 1. So that means B 
Question number four. Now, question number four is four forty three one hundred two and twenty six. Now we have to arrange these numbers. Then we have to do the addition. Okay. So write H two O because we have three digits here. So first one is four forty three. Write four forty three. Then give the plus sign. Then put hundred two. Then again give the plus sign. Then we have to write twenty six in this way. Why is this number in the tens and ones place? Because this is two digit number and rest two are three digit numbers. Okay. So now we have to add this ones place. Six plus two seven eight eight plus three nine ten eleven eleven one carry one four plus one five five plus zero five five plus two six seven. There is no carry, so that means here we have nothing. So four plus one five nothing. So we have to write add anything. So the answer is five five uh, five seventy. One. This is question number four. Now question number five is your homework. Now we will do question number six. Three twenty six, two hundred thirty, and one hundred ninety nine. Now again we have to put this number according to their place. Here we have three digit number. Both uh, all the three numbers are in three digit. So put according. Three hundred six plus two hundred thirty plus one hundred ninety nine. Now we have to add the ones place first. Nine plus three, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve plus six, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eight carry one. Two plus one three, three plus one four, four plus nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Three. Carry one. Three plus one, four. Four plus one, five. Five plus two, seven. So the answer is seven thirty eight. Okay. In this way, do this exercise. Now we will do exercise six point two. Solve the following word problems. Okay, now look at the question. Uh, first question is Raja and Mohit had two thirty-six marbles each. Their friend Aman brought three forty-eight marbles more. How many more? Mar how many marbles were there in all? So Raja and Mohit they uh, both have two thirty-six marbles. Okay, Raja has two thirty-six marbles. Mohit also has two thirty-six marbles. And their friend Aman uh, have brought. Three forty-eight marbles more. So how many marbles they have all together? So for that we have to do in this way. So Raja had two thirty-six marbles. Mohi had two thirty-six marbles. Aman brought three forty-eight marbles. Now we have to find out the all together total number of marbles. So that's why we are doing addition. So first add this one plus eight plus six nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen. Fourteen plus six, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty zero carry two. Three plus two, five. Five plus three, six, seven, eight. Eight plus four, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Two carry one. Two plus one, three. Three plus two, five. Five plus three, six, seven, eight. So all together they have how many marbles? Eight twenty marbles in all. Okay. So write here eight twenty in the dash. Now question number two. Okay. Now our next question is question number two. Manju had one hundred twelve shells which she picked up at the beach. She then picked up one at one eighty seven more shells. How many shells had she picked? So Manju had how many shells? 112 shells. Uh, then he picked more shells from the beach. That is uh, how many more shells uh, she picked from the beach? 
27. So all together she have how many shells? You have to do in this way. This is what problem sum. So you have to do this sums accordingly in this way. Okay. So first we have to write Manju had 112 shells. She picked 187 shells. So we have to uh, add this one. So that's why put the addition sign. Then add these two numbers. Then the answer is 299. So you have to write here. Therefore she had paid 299 shells all together. This is the answer. Okay. Now question number 3. There was 397 birds on a tree. After some time 597 more birds joined them. So in a tree, on a tree there are 397 birds. Uh, already there are 397 birds. Mm, after some time 597 more birds joined uh, those uh, join that birds. Okay. So all together how many birds are there on a tree? So you have to write here like this. Number of birds on a tree is 397. Number of more birds joined 597. Do the addition. Then the answer is 994. So the answer is there are uh, there were 994 birds on the tree in total. So in this way do question number and 3 and question number 4 uh, in the same process you have to do in your homework so this is your homework now we will do exercise 6.3 okay now go, uh, exercise 6.3 first question is subtract the following so number 1 is uh, number 1 question is 168 minus 45 so here we have to subtract. So this number is bigger than this number. So we need to carry. So first we will uh, count this one's place. Okay. So 8 minus 5 after 5, 6, 7, 8, 3. Then here also this number is bigger than this. So here again we don't need to uh, carry. Okay. So 6 minus 4, 5, 6, 2. And there is nothing, no carry. That's why. Uh, and there is no number, that's fine. That, that means we have to put this number here. So the answer is 123. Now, question number 2. Niti read 200 pages of her book in the first week, 363 pages in the second week, and 103 pages in the third week. So, how many total number of pages were read by Niti in 3 weeks? So, Niti uh, read. Uh, in the first week she read 212 pages. In the second week she read 363 pages. And in the third week she read 103 pages. So how many total number of pages uh, she read in 3 weeks. So we have to find out this. This is a word problem. So how you will do this? Okay now uh, this time question you have to do in this way, okay? Niti read 212 pages in the first week. She read 363 pages in the second week. She also read 103 pages in the third week. So we have we have to do the addition. That's why put the uh, plus sign. Then add all this. Answer is if you add 212, 363 plus 103, you will get 678. So this is the answer. So write in this way. Therefore, 678 total number of pages were read by Niti in 3 weeks. Okay. So this is the answer. Now question number 3 is your homework. You will do in this, in this process. Now we will do question number 4. Arrange the following in ascending order. Okay. So the question is this. We have to first we have to do that uh, subtraction then uh, we will arrange the, this in uh, ascending order ok. So 248 minus 140, 248 minus 140, here we have 597 minus 397, here we have 187 minus 112. Here we have 502 minus 300. Now we have to do the subtraction. So first we will add, uh, subtract this one plus 8 minus 4 after 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 4, 4 minus 1, 3, 2 minus 1, 1, 7 minus 7, 0, 9 minus 9, 0, 5 minus 3, 4, 5, 2, 7 minus 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 5, 
from smaller to bigger. So here, uh, which number, which answer uh, is uh, smaller than others? This one, 144, 275, 202. This one is smaller. So we have to write this question at the first. What is the question? 187, 187 minus 112, that is R. Next, after 75, which one is the smallest number? 134, that is this one. So we have to write this question. 248 minus 140, that is P. Then after this, which one is the smallest among these two? This one. So we have to write this question, this number. 597 minus 397 Q and the last one is this 502 minus 300 so in this way you have to do this sum so question number A I have done question number B is your homework now we will do question number 5 fill in the blanks Okay, now the question is 443 minus 230 equals to that box 100, box 10, box 1. So we have to write the answer here after subtracting these two numbers. So how do you subtract? 443 minus 230. 1 plus 3, 3, 0. 4 minus 1, 3. 4 minus 2, 2. So the answer is 230. 2 is in which place? 100, 3 is in tens and 0 is in 1. So, 200, 3 tens and 0 ones. In this way, you have to do this, okay? Now, question number C. Eight minus one, seven. Seven to 